beautiful that snake is. Holy moly. Okay, don't get any closer. As the sun disappears over the horizon, the Sonoran Desert comes alive in the dark. Tonight the crew and I are headed off in search of creatures that most people will do anything to avoid. From tarantulas and scorpions, to centipedes the size of rulers, coming across a living nightmare is a very realistic and almost guaranteed experience if you know where to look. And while many nighttime creatures are covered in legs, pinchers, and fangs, if you can find yourself in the right place at the right time, you may get to encounter one lightning quick reptile that has some serious moves. Uh, check this out guys, fantastic. This is the Sidewinder, one of the iconic species that lives here in the Sonoran Desert. Now, this is the smallest rattlesnake species that you can encounter out here, and they are also known as the horned rattlesnake. You can see they've got these two tiny little horns just above their eyes. Now scientists don't really know what these horns are for, but they think it's when they have buried themselves down in the sand, it helps them keep sand out of their eyes. And that's that classic motion that you see them doing there, just kind of sidewinding forward. Now the sidewinder is capable of slithering, just like any snake species. The sidewinding motion though, actually allows them to keep their body cool as they're moving over hot sand. So as the first half of the body lifts off the sand, it cools as the second half of the body projects the snake forward. And what this little snake is saying to me right now is that just because I'm small does not mean I'm not dangerous. This is a pit viper, it is venomous, and that little rattle that you got going right there is saying, back up, and give me my space. This is definitely a snake you need to respect because of its speed and its venom. Now you get tagged by this snake, it's not gonna kill you. The venom is not as potent as Western Diamondback or the Mojave Rattlesnake, but still, it's gonna be a painful bite. And this is not an aggressive species. This is not something you need to be afraid of. You know, you go out and you look for these snakes, most of the time, this is their demeanor. They'll sit there, rattle the tail, slither around. If you give them their space, you'll be just fine. This is not a snake you ever want to try to pick up or handle, especially because it's so small. If I were to try to head this snake right now, I probably would not be able to get a real good handle on its head. It's just safer for me to admire this snake from a distance. Wow, and look at that camouflage. Look how well he just blends into this sandy environment. And what they're doing out here right now is hunting. There's little ants running all over the place, little beetles. These guys will also take geckos and any other small lizards that they can get their fangs on. Look how beautiful that snake is. Holy moly. Okay, don't get any closer. So if you come out here into the desert at night and run across a small rattlesnake and you see those two little horns, you instantly know it's the Sidewinder. Ah, oh, the Sidewinder. One of the snakes I was really hoping that we would come across tonight looking for creatures out here in the wash. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go off to the side here, watch your feet their chance, and we're gonna continue looking for creepy crawlies here in the Sonoran Desert. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trails.